Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,101st edition of Short-Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Welcome, traders, welcome. Thank you so much for showing up. This video, again, it's the 1,101st installment of these nightly videos, which I use to help teach you the art of technical analysis. This video is being filmed on Monday night for trading Tuesday, that would be November 5th, 2013. Okay, traders, you're looking at the E-mini S&P, and I'm here to say, Green Omni, about face, turn around, let's go right back up, and I love those Green Omnis. So E-mini S&P, Green Omni, one of the many reasons why is, we are back into the F flag. Two days ago, we fell out of it. Friday, we got back into it, and or I should say Monday, we got back into it. Friday, we fell out of it. Monday, we got back into it, and I think for Tuesday, we move higher. Many other reasons, of course, but we do love these F flags. Traders, if you like the analysis that you are seeing in these videos, please come on down to livewithoscar.com. Jump into my free chat room where I can help you to understand the analysis, which I hope would in turn make you a much better trader. All right, traders, so let's look around. This is your E-mini S&P on a daily. Let's move out a little bit and see what's going on on the weekly. E-mini S&P weekly chart. You guys have seen this. You guys, gals, have seen this many times. This is from the crash lows in 2009. This line is a very important line. More important is this one. It goes all the way back to the crash lows of 2008 and 9 when they started to sort of form this channel on the way back up. Here's what's interesting. When you rally from the top, you hit, when you rally from the bottom, you hit the top, you hit the blue circle, or I illustrate it with the blue circle, you hit the top of the line and you come back down. You rally up, you hit the top of the line, see the blue circle, you come back down. You rally up, you never hit the line, you come off, you rally up, you come off here, you rally up, you hit the red line, see the blue circle, you only come down a little bit. This is different this time around. This circle does not belong here. You will not stop here this time. The ES is about to breach the upper resistance on the weekly bar. You are going here, traders. That's where the ES is going. So expect that to happen. Now this chart, remember this is a weekly chart and it goes all the way back to the crash lows. This includes everything that we have seen since the crash. We are moving higher. Resistance will be breached and we should move up here based on what you're seeing. Now remember, we've been in this big fat channel, right? This big fat red channel, but now this new channel is morphing, this one here, and that's the one we are expecting to go see. We expect to be up at that channel in no time at all. Nothing goes straight up, but that is our projection. So you've seen the E-mini S&P. Let's look at a couple of more charts. Here. I think there's a few things that we should look at together that you may like. Uh, let me just roll back to a daily at first, and then we'll see what we have for you. Traders, this chart, Dow Jones Transportation Average Daily Bar Chart. Expect to see this area very, very soon because we are back. We are back in the channel. We had a little slip here, but we are back in the channel, and a round of applause for that because we are moving higher. So that's your daily transportation average. Let me show you it on the weekly. Let's move out to a weekly here for a moment. Uh, Dow Jones, you know what? I, I did, you know what? I don't want to show you this yet. Let me take you somewhere else. I should probably not do this yet. Let's go back to the daily. Uh, my apologies there. I'm getting a little ahead of myself. So on the daily, this looks absolutely fantastic. You got to love what you see here. Now we revert back to the E-mini S&P for a moment. This is our favorite trading vehicle, right? This E-mini S&P. On the E-mini S&P, we have been in what we like to call an F flag for some time now. These F flags almost always propel us towards the upside for quite some time. So we are absolutely expecting to see the markets move higher. One of the things that has been interesting is that the pullbacks have been very, very stingy lately, traders. You know, we had this pullback here, and that was pretty decent, but we know what caused that. That was the lunatics wrangling over whether or not we were having a debt ceiling. Remove that debt ceiling pullback, 
and you have not had many pullbacks in quite some time here. You had one day pullback, big, big, big rally. Two day pullback, rally begins. We're rallying out of here, traders. That is what I would expect. Now, more on the weekly charts will come in videos later this week, traders. I don't want to get too far ahead of us yet. I want to illustrate some really great things that I'm seeing, but we'll take it one day at a time. What you are looking at is our look or our take on what should happen in the markets for trading Tuesday in the E-mini S&P. NASDAQ, of course, is included there. And you've seen the Dow Jones Transportation Average. Traders, once again, if you like what you're seeing in these videos, please come on down to livewithoscar.com and join the ever-growing army of Omniacs that we have there every day helping one another get through these rough and tumble markets. Now remember, futures trading is certainly not suitable for all trading accounts. You can lose your shirt and more in this game. Futures trading, you need to have stops in at all times. Always place stops, place them first, because if you do not place stops before you get into a trade, you will simply write another check to one of your brokers, and when that check is used up, you'll write another and another, because that is what happens when you do not use stops. Traders always use stops, and remember, keep something in mind when you put a stop in, basically you are removing the risk and the emotions out of the trade, barring an event that takes place where somehow your stop doesn't get filled. But on an average day, an average trade, you put a stop in, then you put the trade on so you are protected. It's like buying a brand new car. You would never drive off the showroom lot with a brand new car unless you put, on, put an insurance policy on it first. Why would you put on a commodities position which costs way more than the average new car without putting on an insurance policy first called the stop? Traders, with that in mind, remember, stops are in. Emotions are out. Traders, thank you so much for coming to these videos, and I will see you at livewithoscar.com.